When the pandemic started in 2020, many were already jobless, unsure where to turn next. Several started their own businesses. Tonight, in-depth reporter Nick Bradshaw has a story of one young Central Texas lady who's living the dream of entrepreneurship. Here in Central Texas, it's the beauty of Mother Nature. Where the cows roam. And last minute Christmas shopping. Bruce, what? can I give this to Aubrey? Yeah. In full swing. Abby Houston making a TikTok video. Now that's good for the back of the dress. Promoting her store in Little Hamilton. It seems pretty easy, but. <laughs> in her early 20s, 22 to be exact. Can I hear a little commotion? and straight out of college. You know, entrepreneurship is such a big thing now, and I don't think three years ago it was that much of a thing. And she's right. According to the Census Bureau, over 4 million businesses were created in 2020 alone. It's just been really exciting just to be able to push through those two years of not even really knowing what's going on. It, younger generations are more comfortable with the platforms out there to earn money in more of a non-traditional way through gig work, uh, through, through working online, through remote work. They just may be more comfortable with those platforms. For weeks now, we've been telling you about those who have left their jobs across the US. So I also think there's this disconnect between a number of workers who would like to re-enter and for some reason their skills or something on their resume isn't matching up what organizations are looking for. And so I think for many companies, they may need to say, OK, we used to require everyone have a college degree. Do we really need to make sure everyone has a college degree? Or if we get rid of that minimum requirement, do we then open ourselves up to hiring a bunch more people who are looking to work? OK. Silent night. Here in Hamilton, the town is growing, but business owners have found it difficult to find workers. I do want this place to remain open because there's a need for it. There is a need for a florist. So using the technology of today, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, Facebook, having it delivered all over the world is the new business model. Heavenly host singing creating something for like a legacy for your family and your future kids to see and you know grandparents and everything like that. I think that is just the most exciting thing. Dreams come alive on TikTok. Okay. <laughs> Nick Bradshaw, 25 News.